This is holy ground. We are standing on holy ground. This is holy ground. We are standing on holy ground. This is holy ground. We are standing on holy ground. We are standing on holy ground. And I know that there were angels all around. Let us pray. Jesus, now we are standing in his presence on holy ground. Let us praise. What a privilege and an honor to be in the presence of our maker, to join the, with the hosts of heaven, to worship in the beauty of his holiness. Hallelujah. Isaiah 1, 18 says, come now, let us settle this, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, I will make them as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, I will make them as white as wool. Hallelujah. First John 1 8 says to us, if we claim that we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But he also tells us in verse 9 that if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. On behalf of the nations today, on behalf of our homes, on behalf of our leaders. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from ever and I will forgive their sins and restore their land. So Father, this afternoon we are asking that he will restore peace unto our land. He will forgive us because we have come in repentance because we do not want to come before him with any altar of filthiness of the spirit because it cannot be old iniquity. Father, so we have made a conscious effort, the conscious decision to come before you in repentance. And we know that you're willing to forgive us, to cleanse us, to purify us, to sanctify us, to dress up, up, dress us up and use us for your glory this afternoon. That is the only reason we are privileged and able to be on this hour because he is able to take away all filthiness of spirit and to use us. Hallelujah. Take that stage, Lord, and have your way. We are just vessels and nothing more. And when you're done, Lord, please take the glory. We'll be satisfied. 
just to see you glorified. Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins, for, good, for using us for your glory this afternoon to bring souls into your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello, brothers and sisters. We want to welcome you to the Power Out Soaking Room Experience Hour, where we worship and adore our God to proclaim his goodness over all in a non-religious, non-traditional, and non-conventional manner. If you're joining us right now or at a later time, we know it's not by accident that you're here. The Lord brought you here. Hallelujah. And we pray that you will feel the tangible presence of our God and have an encounter with him. And today we pray that it will be your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Strength like no other. Please follow us as we continue to lift his name up and help us to share our broadcast with your friends and with families in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to win souls for the kingdom of God. Every, of God, every nation touched, every heart change and none left behind in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading from the book of Psalms chapter 59 verses 16 to 17 and i'll be reading from the passion translation psalm 59 verses 16 to 17 but as for me your strength shall be my song of joy at each and every sunrise my lyrics of your love will fill the air for you have been my glory fortress a stronghold in my day of distress Oh, my strength, I sing with joy your praises. Oh, my stronghold, I will sing with joy your song. Oh, my savior, I sing with joy the lyrics of your faithful love for me. At one point in our lives or the other, we will go through or would have gone through challenges or downtime moments. And it may feel as if there's no end to it. But the truth is, challenges will always come, and it will come in any form. But the good news about this is that there's always a way out, especially, and that's the condition, especially when we work with God and trust him completely to be our shield and strength during those dark periods. Psalm 138 verse 3 says, In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. And also Psalm 118 verse 14 says, the Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation, hallelujah. So the efficacy of God's power actually deflates those storms of life and his strength acts as a shield for the feelings of being anxious, for the feelings of being worried, for being agitated, but when we fully put our trust in God, he walks alongside us and perfects all that concerns us. We have this assurance in Psalm 18, verse 32, which says, it is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Hallelujah. So today, we want to declare God's strength in our lives, in our families, over our neighbors, our colleagues, and all our loved ones. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we declare strength over weakness, and we stand on your promises in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfected, is perfected in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly in my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest on me. We declare strength for healing and hold on to his word in Jeremiah 30, 17. But I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. 
we declare strength for emotional healing and we stand on God's word in Psalm 34, verse 17 to 20. And it says, when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them. He, he delivers them out of them all. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Hallelujah. We declare strength in the midst of bereavement and stand on Isaiah 61 verse 3 that says, and provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. We declare strength to see us through the challenges we experience even within our work environments. And Psalm 46 verse one to three says, God is our refuge and strength an ever present help in times of need. Therefore, we will not fear, we will not be afraid. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the earth of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with surging. And also Psalm 54 verse one says, save me, O God, by your name and vindicate me by your strength, hallelujah. We declare strength in the midst of spiritual warfare and we are confident of his word in Deuteronomy 20 verse four, which says, for the Lord your God is he who goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. We are also assured in Exodus 15 verse two, which says, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, and I will exalt him. We declare strength in the midst of financial lack because he has promised that he shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. We declare strength for the weary and faint-hearted, and we hold on to his word in Matthew 11, 2830, which says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Oh, Father, we declare strength in the midst of being fearful, and we stand on his promises in Psalm 27, verse 1, which says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Oh, we declare strength when wrongly accused, and, when we, and we hold on to his word, even in Psalm 46, verse 1, that says, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in times of trouble. And also Isaiah 25 verse four says, for you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the, from the heat, for the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm, against the wall, hallelujah. The book of Psalms chapter, Psalms um, 28, verse seven to nine, also affirms what the Lord's strength can do for you and I. And it says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. In him, my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song, I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. Oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Amen. Lord, we declare, we declare that our hope is in you. We declare that our peace is in you. We declare that our joy is in you. 
We declare that our victory is in you. We declare that our strength is in you. And it is our prayer that may the joy of the Lord continue to be our strength in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah unto your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for his words. His deed is our wonderful God, isn't it? He's so faithful. And just to buttress what my sisters are, my sister has just declared, in 1 Chronicles 16, 11, it says, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. And we've come to seek the face of God because we know that he's the only one that can give us strength. We know that he was made weak, that we may be strong. We believe in the Lord and in his words and in his promises. And 2 Thessalonians 3, 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. And 1 Corinthians 16, 13 says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous, be strong, hallelujah. We just serve a mighty God. Indeed, is our strength. We believe in him, we trust in him. And we just want to declare that, Lord, you know what? We can't do it by ourselves. Our, our, our strength will fail us. But with you, Lord, we can do everything. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Strength will rise as you wait. Upon the Lord who will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as who wait upon the Lord. Who will wait upon the Lord? Our God, He reigns forever. Our hope, our strong deliverance. You are the everlasting God, the everlasting God. You do not fail, you will grow weak, real Strength will rise, we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We we'll say, strength will arise, strength will come as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength arises, we will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. And that's why the Bible said, I wait upon the Lord. Those that wait upon the Lord, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit because our strength is only in God. We can never do it by ourselves. But when we wait upon the Lord, when we trust his timing, when we trust his promises, when we trust that he's the only one that can do that, which no man can do, then that strength will come. Have you looked at it in the Bible? When little David was able to conquer Goliath, as heavy as Goliath was, the the Bible made us understand it was about nine feet and tiny David was able to conquer him because of that strength that came from the Lord. It wasn't from David. If David has looked at himself and think that, you know what, I can just do this with this little rod I've got and with this stone and he will bring down Goliath. But because he relied upon God, he waited upon God, he had the assurance and the backing of the Holy Spirit saying, you know what, I'm there with you, go for it. And that's why we are believing in God today. We are declaring that he is our strength like no other. We are declaring that only him can give us that strength that no man can give because he himself became weak that we may be strong. Therefore, we, 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 we come to him, the father that can give strength. And we just say, Father, have your way. Have your way, Jesus. We wait upon you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reveal to me 
You are my strength, strength like no other, Lord, strength like no other. Reveal to me, if you believe that song, just sing it and just release yourself to God. Don't trust in your own timing. Don't trust in your own power. Believe in me, your strength can fail you. But the strength of God can never fail because his strength is very accurate. His strength is always there. Just as my sister has declared over every area of our life, we can see that indeed it is only God that can be with us. Therefore, we believe in you, Lord. And we sing that song with the authority and with the promises and the assurance that you've given to us that you will be our God. And we say, you are strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reveal to us, we've got no power, power of our own, we've got no power, Power of our Lord, Holy Spirit, I look unto you for strength, Lord, I've got no power, power of my own, I've got no strength, Jesus, strength of my own, Jesus. I've got no strength, Jesus. I've got no strength of my own. Holy Spirit, I look unto you. Help me. I've got no power, power of my own. Will you be able to seek the face of God? Will you be able to come in humility before him and tell him that, Father, I've got no power of my own. I've got no strength of my own. I've tried, Lord, but my strength has failed me. But I've come to you, Lord, and I say, I've got no strength of my own. I look unto you, the heart and the finish of my faith. And I say, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord, help me, Lord. I need your help. Help me. Release your power, oh God. Father, Lord, upon everyone that is hearing my voice right now, release your strength, oh God. That strength like no other, oh God. Let them receive that strength from above. God, that strength that only you can give in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Have we got no power? Power of our own. We've got no power. Power of our own. Holy Spirit, we look unto you. Help us, we've got no power, power of our own. We've got no strength, strength of our own, Jesus. We've got no strength, our strength can bear us, Lord. Strength of our own, Lord. All is fair, we'll look unto you. How far we've got no strength, strength of our own. Yes, Lord, we've got no strength of our own. We've got no strength of our own, Lord. Father, we look unto you, Lord. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us, Lord, today, Lord. We just come before you, Lord, because we know only you can help us, Lord. Only you can do that which only you alone can do. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Holy Spirit. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hey, we sing. 
Ozana, Ozana, Ozana in the high. Love lift up our head with a hand full of praise. Be exalted, O oh Lord our God. Ozana in the high. Oh. All glory, all glory, all glory to the King of Kings, all glory, all glory, all glory, all glory to the Lord of all Father. God will lift up your name, will lift it up with a hands full of praise. Be exalted, O oh Lord our God. All glory to the King of Kings. Our strength, all power, all power, all power to the King of Kings. Is my strength, all power, all power, all power to the Lord of Lords. Lord, we we'll lift up your name, we we'll lift up the name of Jesus with a hand full of praise, with a heart full of praise. Be exalted, O oh Lord our God, all glory to the Lord of Lords. He is a king of kings, he is a Lord. Oh Lord, his name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. There he is, he is our king, he is my king of kings, he is my strength like no other. His name is Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I say, there he is, you have. He is my strength. He is my strength. Like no harder. He is my strength. Like no harder. His name is Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There he has you have. He is a Lord. He is a King of Kings. He is a Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There he has you have. He is a Lord. He is a strength like no other. He is our refuge, he is our fortress, his name is Jesus, 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 there he is, he is our King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is my King, hallelujah, 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 he is my Lord, hallelujah, he is my Lord, hallelujah, he is my King, hallelujah, his name is Jesus, hallelujah, he is my Lord, hallelujah. He is my strength, he is my strength, he is my strength, hallelujah. He is my strength, he is my strength, he is my strength, hallelujah. He is my strength, he is my strength, he is my strength. I will wait on you, Almighty God, in the beauty of your holy name. We will wait 
upon you for strength, Almighty God, in the beauty of your holy name. Father, we just bless you. We thank you for the declarations, oh God, in your word. We thank you, Lord, because you are strength. We thank you, Lord, because, oh Lord, you've made us, oh Lord, to be strong in you. There is no one like you. And so, Lord, we just want to declare that you are just a good, good father. I want to declare that you are my strength like you, mother. I thank you, Lord, because you became, oh Lord, so we so that I may be strong. Thank you, Lord, because it's in you that I live and I move and I have my being. Thank you, Lord, because no one can ever be like you. Father, you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Lord of shepherds. You are the Lion of Judah. You are the I am that I am. You are the one who come and make it where there seem to be no good. Father, you are my soul and my resort, oh God. Father, you are my holy Lord, Father. You are my sustainer. You are my provider. You are my Jehovah Jireh. You are my Jehovah Nisi. You are my Jehovah Shannon. Father, Lord God, in the midst of the, of the wilderness, in the darkness, oh Lord, where nobody sees me, you see me all, and you are always there with me. No matter who, whatever you look at God, you are always there. I give you praise because you are God that speaks closer than anybody. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to declare your lordship, Lord. I just bow to your kingship. I bow to your lordship. I bow to your messiahship. You are God by yourself. There is no one like you. I just give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. You are a good, good father. That is who you are. I thank you. Thank you for being my strength. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For even the time, oh Lord, that it seems there's nobody that can give you that strength, Lord. You understand, Lord. And you always beg, and I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being my strength. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I just thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your names, oh God. Oh God, you are the author and perfecter of my faith, oh God. You are the chief shepherd, oh God. You are the, the, the desire of nations, oh God. You're faithful, God, and you are a true witness, oh God. You are the redeemer, oh God, and, 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 and the purifier, oh God. I, you are, I am that I am, oh God. You are the trinity and cancel, oh God. You're victorious in holiness, oh God. Oh, you are the lily of the valleys, oh God. You are the ancient of days, oh God. You are the praiseworthy God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are the game changer, God. And I thank you for being a God of love. I thank you for being my counselor. I thank you for being my daddy. I thank you for being so faithful, oh God. I thank you, God. I thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are my strength, strength like no other. You are my shield. You are my fortress. You are my shield and buckler. You are my Ebenezer. You are my ever-present help in times of need. You are my comforter. You are my provider. You are my confidence builder. You are my sheer leader, the ageless God, the sleepless God the I am that I am, the one who is, the one who was, and the one who is yet to come. You are the cry for Aderonke. You are my best, best friend. You are my confidence builder. You are my wisdom. You are my everlasting courage. You are my mediator, my battle ax, my deliverer, my defender, my redeemer, my provider, my confidence, my healer, 
my protector. You are full of compassion, slow in slow to anger. You are the invisible God. You are the righteous God, the rock of offense. You are the trusted prophet. You are the true and faithful scribe. You are the timeless redeemer, the weeping prophet, the lover's dream. You are the stranger that always show up in the fire. Hallelujah unto your name. Glory, glory, glory unto your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are my buckler. You are my chuku do me be. You are my oluwa to be loba. You are my dwelling place. My healer, my deliverer. My tower. My keeper, my glory. You are my strength and my song. You are my refuge. You are the rock of ages. You are the only one of Israel. The king of kings. This strong fortress, this strong tower, my redeemer, my director, the omnipotent God, the Lord that say yea, no one can say no. My chine kedima, chine kedima, the God that answered by fire, the Lord that say yea, no one can say no. The hiding place, my fresh. A dwelling place. Thank you, Heavenly King of Glory. Thank you, Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. 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 Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Never the weak Say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. We will trust in you. We will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. Father, you are my hope, you are my strength, you are my defense and my stamina. You are my courage, the one that carries me, my salvation, my warrior, my refuge, my shield, my fortress. Your joy grants me strength. You are my ever-present help in trouble, my hero, my strong tower. You are my fortifier, my security, my hiding place. You are my cornerstone. In you, my weaknesses are turned to strength. You are my deliverers. In you, I live. In you, I move. In you, I have my being. You are my source of encouragement in all circumstances. You are the wind beneath my wings. Hallelujah. Did you ever know that you are my evil? You are everything I wish I could be. I could fly higher than an eagle. For you are the wind beneath my wings. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. You are my boss. You are my director, my manager, my CEO, my CFO. You are my Shiloh, my Ark of the Covenant. You are true and faithful one, the horn of my salvation, the lion and the lamb, my pool of Bethesda, my city of refuge. You are my food and my my water, my sustenance, my substance, hallelujah. You are sweeter than honey on the honeycomb. You are my manna from heaven, the ruler above all powers and principalities. Thank you, Father. You are the name changer, the destiny changer, the giant slayer, the mountain mover, the sea divider.
leader, the one who left 99 to come after me. You are my blessing beyond the curse, the one who finds and restores that which was lost. You are my battle axe, the name above every other name. You are marvelous. You are glorious. You are powerful. There is no one quite like you, not in the heaven, not in the earth, not in the sea, and not under the sea. You are God all by yourself. You have no equal. You are the one who changed my name and gave me a new life and a purpose. My righteousness, my justice, and my victory, my alabaster box, my sweet perfume of great value, my enemy silencer, the one who crushed the head of the serpent. You are the giver of grace, the keeper of promises, hallelujah, the one who registered my name in the book of life. And I worship you and I exhort you and I give you praise, hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Jesus, refuge of the weary, blessed Redeemer, whom we love. Fountain in life's desert dreary, Savior from the world above, often high. Your eyes offended, gaze upon the sinner's fall, yet upon the cross extended, you endure the pain of all. There we pass the cross on him. Breathing no repentant vow. As we see you wounded, bleeding, see your thorn and circle brow. Since your sinless death has brought us life eternal. Peace and rest, only what your grace has taught us comes the sinners deep distress. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus, you are the refuge for the weary, and we bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King Jesus. Friends, I've been watching what is unfolding in Ukraine and see the pain and suffering of people fleeing the country to get to safer places. Currently, there are over 3.5 million women, children, and men who have sought refuge in neighboring countries trying to avoid the bombings and the food and supply shortages and the chaos. These refugees need help, safety, food, shelter, and peace in this time. In the early 90s, my family had to flee my home country due to political turmoil. And my country became very unsafe for us. And so we left our home behind for a year. My mom left her job and I had to enroll in a new school to continue my studies. And as refugees, we had to adjust to a new land. We had to start our lives all over. And I remember every Wednesday, my mother going to the office of the UN HCR to collect rice, beans, oil, and other food supplies for our family. Hallelujah. But we pray for you today that if you are a refugee, hallelujah, forced to leave your home country due to war, due to famine or natural disaster, we pray that Jesus will wipe away your tears, 
that he will give you a reason to smile, even in the midst of your situation. And I pray that today you will choose to find refuge in Jesus, who is able to keep us at peace in even life's worst moments. Amen. He's the refuge where no man can touch you. Hallelujah. Because when you find Jesus, you find the best refuge any man can have. And I pray that you will surrender your life to Jesus, the one who is able to rewrite your story and change the course of your life. And I pray that God will establish you wherever you find yourself today. And I pray that whatever you lost when you left your home country, that the Lord will restore to you sevenfold. May the Lord restore your house, your finance, your career, your family, your health. May you be a living testimony unto what our God can do. Amen and amen. In the Bible, we have the account of a woman named Ruth. And she was a widow who fled famine in her homeland of Moab and moved to Israel with her mother-in-law, Naomi. She found herself in an unknown land with new people, new customs, new way of doing things. And in the midst of the changes, she found God. She trusted God. She took refuge in him and God turned her situation around. In Ruth 2, 11, it says, yes, I know, Boaz replied, but I also know about everything you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband. I've heard how you left your father and mother and your own land to live here among complete strangers. May the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge, reward you fully for what you have done. Amen. And friends, we have come today to tell you that there is still hope. There's still a refuge like no other. His name is Jesus, and he wants to be part of your life. He wants to carry your burden, your pain. Hallelujah. He wants to be your place of refuge, your place of safety through our life's trials. Amen. In 2 Samuel 22, 3, it says, my God is my rock in whom I find protection. He's my shield, the power that saves me and my place of safety. He's my refuge, my savior, the one who saves me from violence. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I pray that the words of this song will minister to you. It's called God is our refuge and our strength. God is our refuge and our strength. However, present and therefore though the earth remove we will not be afraid though his abyss the seas be cast though for waters roll Yet though the mighty below shake the mountains on the shore, a river flows whose streams may glad the city of our God. The place where in the Lord most high has his abode. Since God is in 
the mist of her on move her wash stay for God will be early help when trouble is hallelujah god will be your early help when trouble is at hand amen that is the security that we find in the name of jesus that though the earth is shaking though everything is moving though the rain is falling and the winds are shaking our boat hallelujah he is with us he remains our help he remains our refuge he's only a call away jesus hallelujah and he will show up one way or the other hallelujah friends are you running are you running from violence are you running from trouble are you oppressed in any way mentally physically spiritually do you need a safe place today hallelujah the Lord has ordered your steps on this broadcast because he knows exactly what you need. Come to him. Come to Jesus. He wants you. He loves you. He wants to take care of you. Hallelujah. There's no safer place than the arms of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The nations rage, the kingdoms move, but when his voice was heard, the troubled earth was still to peace before his mighty word. The Lord of hosts is on our side, our safety to secure. The God of Jacob is for us, a refuge strong and sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for being our refuge, strong and sure. And friends, if these words resonate to your spirit today and you say, yes, I need safety. I need a refuge. I need strength in my life, in my current situation. Amen. You have come to the right place. You have come to Jesus. Please Please just repeat these words after me and allow King Jesus to take dwelling inside of you. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for ordering my steps today. I thank you for leading me to click on this video. Thank you that you are refuge to me. And today I heard your calling. I heard your voice and I opened the gates of my heart to you. Come and be my refuge, my strength, my safety today. I choose to follow you wherever you lead me. Holy Spirit, come, show me, teach me what it is to be a son, a daughter of the Most High God. Lord Jesus, forgive me for the wrongs that I've done. I repent from all wrongdoings. And today, I choose to surrender this life unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. And friends, if you pray this prayer 
welcome to the family of God. You are now a son, a daughter of the Most High God. Your name is registered in the book of life. Jesus is your refuge. Call him, cry out to him in your time of need, and he will not disappoint you in Jesus' mighty name. You can write us at I help to inspire at gmail.com. You can contact us via our various social media. You'll find the description, the, the details in the description box. We want to get to know you and celebrate what the Lord has begun in your life today. Please find a Bible teaching church. Be plugged in. Hallelujah. Be connected to other brothers and sisters so that your faith may grow and so that your gifts, hallelujah, may be made manifest. We thank you for listening and please share this broadcast with your friends, your family, so that many, a multitude may come Come to the knowledge of Jesus as the ultimate refuge and strength. Amen. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you for your gift of salvation. And God, thank you for your grace and mercy. Titus 3, 5 say he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. You may ask yourself, what has God done for me? Well, he may have healed your body, delivered you from an addiction or bondage, freed you from a life of pain, disappointment, or depression. He might have taken you from selfishness to selflessness and giving you purpose. And even if you don't know that you have much of a story to tell, one thing is for sure. He saved you from eternal in hell, eternity in hell, gave you joy. He gave you peace. He gave you hope. He gave you power. He gave you authority, a mandate, and above all eternal life through Christ Jesus. And oh, oh, wow, hallelujah, that is something to talk about. So I pray that you have received God's wonderful gift today. We want to thank each and every one of you for finding time to come and worship with us today. You are always welcome to come and worship with us. Anyone who comes and visit our broadcast is a blessing. And we hope that you also were blessed. Please meet us here again next Sunday at three o'clock p.m. so that we can worship our Heavenly Father together. Please share this broadcast with your friends and family. Please remember that PHH loves you, but God loves you more. Hallelujah. As I come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary, till we're standing face to face. I look upon your continents, I see the fullness of your grace, and I can only bow down and say you are awesome in this place mighty god you are awesome in this place ever father you are worthy of all praise to you our lives we raise you are awesome in this place, mighty God. Hallelujah, glory to your name, oh God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, ever Father. Glory to your name, oh God. You are worthy of all praise. 
to you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, oh God. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place, almighty God. Amen. 